What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here about to pull some eBay orders. We have some really big items going out today or at least one really big item. So I'm glad to get rid of it. It sold for a good amount of money. I want to show you guys it. Let's go. Here is that big item I was talking about. This thing is absolutely massive. I have been waiting to sell this thing. Had it listed for I believe $200. And I took a best offer of $180. It's going overseas through the global shipping program. So I just have to ship it to Kentucky. Uh, we're going to see how much this costs to ship. And I'll show you guys how I package it up. Hopefully we have a box big enough for it. If not, I'm going to have to create a box for it. So that's the first item. Again, sold for $180 free shipping. Uh, hopefully it doesn't cost us any more than like 25 bucks to ship. We'll see. All right. I sold a CD. Oh, it's right here. That's amazing. So, oh no, I sold this CD player, this Sony Walkman. It's not brand new. It's actually cut open, but it's still in the original box and it has all the original stuff in there. This sold for $39.95 with free shipping. If this was brand new, these things can go upwards of like three, $400. It's crazy. So keep an eye out for brand new Walkmans if you happen to find them. Uh, hard to find, but used, they still sell well. 40 bucks, I'll take it. Okay, I sold a shirt, which is gonna be sitting in here. I gotta dig through. I have a few clothes listed online, more than I like. Let's see. It's gonna be in here. The brand is Bonobos. Bonobos? Bonobos? Uh, I'm not seeing it. So what I'll do is I'll just throw stuff in this bin. Just alternate bins, that's all. It's none of that. Not those. Not those. Is it this one? Oh, it might be this one. Bonobos. Bonobos. There it is. There's the logo. Yep, this shirt right here sold for $14.99 free shipping. Super lightweight. It's going to go first class. Probably cost me under 4 bucks to ship. Not bad. Um, you know, I bought this. I probably paid 5 bucks for it. I thought I was going to get like 25 at the time. This is why I don't mess with clothing. Prices, you know, they, they drop fast if you're just buying basic stuff like this. You kind of want to go for like more unique stuff. I have a really cool jacket down there that I need to list. That's going to go for good money. Button ups like this, eh, 15 bucks. I'm just glad to get rid of it. I'll make a little bit of money on it. All right, everything else that we have to ship is upstairs. I believe it's two more items or three more items, something like that. And another really big item that I took a best offer of, best offer on, and I don't know if it was a good idea because it's so big and heavy. Uh, we'll see, let's go take a look. Here is that big item. It is a Dallas Cowboys um, fan locker. I forgot what, Suncast I think is what it's called. It says down there, yep, Suncast, 1994. Pretty cool little locker, little hooks in there so you could hang like a hat or something, I don't know. Pretty cool locker and I took a best offer of $60 with free shipping on it. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how much this costs to ship as well. I'll show you guys how I package this up too. Then the last thing we have is a hoodie right here. Whoa, here it is. It is brand new with tags. This is Whalers, Hartford Whalers. They were a hockey team here in Connecticut. Uh, Fanatics again, size medium. It is brand new with tags. It's a pretty cool hoodie. This thing sold for $35 free shipping. I forgot what I paid for. I probably paid like 15 bucks. So I'm not gonna make a lot on it, but I'm glad to get rid of it. Okay, so we have both of the pack, both of the items have to be packaged right here in the living room. We have the Power Rangers and the locker. I think I'm gonna start with the Power Ranger first. We also have Soph's toy right here. Hello, Lamb, that could go with all of her other toys. And um, we'll try to package this. I have some of these medium boxes from Walmart. And you could see uh, it's not even folded and it's about the same height. So I think what I'm going to do is cut this down the middle, put the box in there and then fold it over. Yeah, let's try it. So we've stuck it in here, but you could see there's still a gap. Yeah, there's just a little bit of room. So I do save pieces of cardboard. So what I'm gonna do is put a piece of cardboard right there on top and then cut it to size. I think that's uh, gonna be our best bet. Yeah, let's go grab a piece of cardboard. Yep, box storage is crazy. I've been looking for a piece of cardboard and I could have sworn I just had like little cuts of cardboard and I cannot find them. I don't wanna have to cut another box if I have cuts already made. But I can't find them, so think, oh wait, no, that's not them. Darn, 
Okay, so we'll just have to cut up some cardboard. Um, hmm, do I really? Oh wait, aha, I thought this was a box. It's a cut, and it's the same medium Walmart box. It's perfect, okay, cool. So I'm kind of far along here. There's some bits and pieces, some scraps. What I have in here is the uh, big Power Ranger, obviously, and you could kind of see it in there. You can see the edge of the box. It says Megazord right there. And I've just kind of folded the box over and over itself uh, right here, piece of tape, because I folded that flap down, that taped it, folded that flap down, taped it, and now I'm folding this piece down like that. And I'm just gonna tape it up like crazy, crazy, crazy. So what I wanna do, I wanna make sure I do not get tape on the box because I don't wanna rip the box. So that's where these little scrap pieces of cardboard come in. I'm able to just take them and stick them over it and then tape down. So you guys will see that in a couple seconds. So there we go, that's all I do. Put a little piece of scrap cardboard there. I taped it down to the box and now I can fold this over and then put tape all the way down so I'm not damaging the box underneath here. And uh, this is pretty sturdy because I folded it over over a couple times. So you're getting layers and layers of cardboard on this thing. It's pretty sweet. And it's pretty much the smallest you can get it since I'm not just putting it in a box and putting a whole bunch of void fill around it. So it's a good way to ship things that are already in really sturdy boxes. I think I'm gonna end up doing this one a bit differently. And there you have it, the box is done. I folded things over, there was a little spot right here where you could see the box, so took a piece of cardboard, folded it right there on the edge, and then taped it up, so that's good in there. Uh, there was a little gap up here, so I just made sure I covered it up with tape. And uh, now you can't see the box from any angle because I filled it in with cardboard. And this is sturdy, this is a good box. And uh, let's see how much this is going to cost to ship. I think it's going to Kentucky. So let's see, Connecticut to Kentucky, place your bets. So here are the dimensions. It weighed nine pound, one ounce, but you gotta round it up to 10 pounds. I mean, in reality, I could do nine pound, two ounces or whatever. I'll even just do like five ounces, but uh, in, in reality, I think 10 pounds is what it's gonna default to anyways. The box is 29 by 20 by six. So let's see, it's gonna load up. Parcel select, we're looking at $35.21. FedEx ground right here, we're looking at $12.30, it's a big difference. And then UPS ground, we are looking at $17.51. So I'm just gonna go FedEx ground right here and only spend $12.30, let's go. All right, so that first one, 12.30, that's not bad. Now this Cowboys locker, I think is gonna be more because it's wider, it's just bigger all around, and I don't wanna just wrap cardboard around it because it has these little extremities here. I don't want this handle to break off. I don't want any of these to crack. So how I'm gonna do it, um, we're just gonna stick it in a box with a bunch of bubbles, and it, let's see if I even have a box this size. So this is my train of thought here. First of all, puppy though. Let's see, how you doing, Soph? You're looking awfully cute over there. I'm trying to zoom on this thing, it's not really working. <laughs> well, I can still see her. Hey, what's up, pup? All right, now, it fits pretty nicely inside of one of these Walmart medium boxes. It doesn't leave a lot of room on the edges for void fill, though. I don't really like that. The back is fine. I can actually push the back up against it and stick more void fill in there to kind of cushion it. I save a lot of them right in here, a bunch of like bubbles and bu uh, bubble wrap, just a whole bunch of different things. So I think we're gonna try shipping like this and I'm just gonna stuff in bubbles around all the edges, take another box, stick it on top and then put bubbles all on the top, bubbles all on the bottom so it's kind of floating in there. I think that's the best way to do it. So I'm about to do that right now. So what I have here in the bottom is a whole bunch of these really big cushioned bubbles and we have those completely padding out the bottom which is what we're going to sit this on so it's actually going to sit up a lot higher than it was before but that's better because then if it hits the ground real hard it's not going to damage this so let's stick it in there. Alright so we have it inside of the double box. You can see I put bubbles all the way around, all the way around it. I even got some smaller ones on this side. So it is stuck in between all these bubbles and these are just lined up all the way down. So it's like there's a cushion of bubbles around on the bottom and now on the top. And then we're gonna fold this top over. It's actually popped up a little bit so I'll slide the box up and then it should be nicely protected on the top. Then I'll tape it up. 
All right, so the box is all done. It looks really good. It's really flat on all sides. The bottom is extra taped, making sure it's not going to come apart on me. And whatever happens to this, it's not going to get damaged at all. I could throw it off a building. It'll be fine. So uh, I feel like this is going to cost more than the other one just because of how much wider it is. The girth of this box is just insane. So <laughs> I got to go um, weigh it and measure it and let's see. Let's see. All right. So we are entering in the box. It weighed 15 pounds, five ounces. It is 29 inches tall by 16 by 16. This is not going to be good. A little nervous. Parcel select $61. Okay. That's more than what I sold it for. So we're not shipping it that way. Let's look at UPS ground, $34. Oh, where's FedEx? FedEx, $34. Oh no. Oh, this isn't good. Okay. What if I knocked a pound off? Cause it's actually like 15.1. Let's see if that even makes a difference. Uh, 34, 34, it does not. And I can't change the dimensions at all because there's just, I mean, I might be able to shave an inch off the height. Let's see if that makes a big difference. Sometimes it makes a huge difference. Nope, still 34. So that sucks. Well, it is what it is. I sold it for right there, $60 shipped. And it's gonna cost me 34 to ship it. I could try pirate ship. I don't think that'll make a difference. So let's click on that. 34, ah, uh, let's go check Pirate Ship. Yeah, Pirate Ship, not nah, good. It's the same, 6109 is the cheapest, so we're not gonna do that. Okay, boys and girls, so we're doing some calculations here. I sold it for $60. Its shipping charge was zero, but my shipping cost is going to cost me 34.16. The item cost was $5 at Goodwill plus tax, so it was what? 6, 12, 18, 24, 36. It was about 38 extra cents. <laughs> uh, the boxes were about a buck each, so we could actually make that 738. Might as well round it up to eight because of all the tape. I don't think there's a lot of money to be made here. Was it even worth it? Oh, I'm only making about 10 bucks, give or take. 10 bucks for all that effort. Not worth it. I hate selling huge items. You know, it, I thought it should have gone for more than $60. It's really cool. I bought it because I'm like $5, I can't lose. I had it listed for like 100, then I lowered it to like 80, then 75, then I took a best offer at 60 just to get rid of it. The thing is massive and I've had it for months. Ah, what a shame. So yeah, there's money to be made in selling big items and normally I don't mind too much, but that one was horrible. See, the, the Power Rangers one was great. I was going to Kentucky. Um, because the box was thinner, I was able to ship that huge box. It only weighed like four pounds lighter. I was able to ship it for 12 bucks. That locker, four pounds more, bigger around, instantly the price goes up to $34. It's insane, was not worth it. Sometimes I hate it, but hey, it still made some money, so I guess that's cool. And it's out of the uh, out of the office, so totally happy about that. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.